Hi, everybody. Welcome to Pace Studio on the Road. We are live from the Tree Fort Festival right now in Boise, Idaho. Thanks to our friends at Convert Kits. We're live right now with the band Vem. Vem, thank you very much for joining us. Thank you. Thank you. It's a pleasure. Yeah, this is a lot of fun, man. Thank you for uh, for kicking us off in style. I've appreciated the sound check very much and cannot wait to share some of your music with our audience. We're about to hear four songs. Two of them are from the Flamingo EP and two are brand new songs unreleased. What do you feel like doing first today? Speak up. Yeah. <laughs> Here we go. A sound Girl, your heart is aching Swear to me You're safe and sound It's not magic at all I don't want a story about last fall I could give it my what it takes is different than what we asked for Hourglass sand is keeping my decisions in check It's not hard for me to think of ways I can't believe in hope A smart guy is brave enough Self-consciousness extends all in you need to speak up loud for my dreams to wake up All is lost, forgotten now Too soon to make a stop Girl, my heart is aching Swear to me you'll make it safe What it takes is different than what we asked for Hourglass sand is keeping my decisions in check It's not hard for me to think of ways I can't believe in hope A smart guy is brave enough Self-consciousness extends Loud for my dreams to wake up Guys, thank you. Song one of, of day one of Tree Fort, man. I feel good. Yeah. I Thanks feel for good too. yeah. Thank you so much. This uh, this place has made us feel good. We've had there have been beers for free. There have been there's food. We've eaten very well. We've slept very well, and I uh, feel taken care of by Boise. And I want to talk a little bit about the Boise. Wait community. wait wait wait. It's Boise. <laughs> Boise. You, you can't be in here. I will tell you that right now. You can't be here and be saying Boise. There's no Z in it. It's and, and Moscow. I got Moscow. Right. You got Moscow right, but yeah. Boise. I know. did not get be. Moscow right. You're welcome for that. You you tr trust me. You you needed to hear that. <laughs> so Boise, Idaho, has treated us beautifully. And 
and um, talk to us a little bit about uh, some of the artists who you've been able to support through your career, artists who have supported you, and just the community in general, whether it's a bartender or a house painter or just anyone who's, who's helped you creatively. I mean, yeah, it's a, it's a close-knit community we have in Boise. We're really thankful for uh, the bands that have helped us out. Um, I can name College Level, Barn, The Fets, some of our other projects that we do here in Boise. Um, yeah, I don't know. Yeah, no, I, it's, really, it's really cool to see all the bands that are kind of coming up um, in the scene here. And um, there's a lot of young talent here. And, uh, you know, it's, it's really important that we all just kind of like support each other in house shows and stuff like that. You know, that's kind of what, how we started just playing house shows and, you know, yeah. just, just allowing that to happen in the first place, you know, because there's not a lot of all ages venues here just to have shows at. So, you know, it's just kind of like, it's important to have that DIY community, if that makes sense, you know. Yeah, definitely. It's Cause that's the most important thing I think for anybody, whether, I mean, for me as a camera operator, like having specific gear doesn't necessarily matter. It just matters that you have something, whether it's an iPhone or whatever, just get in there and use it. And so get in there and, and play a show, you know, regardless of where it is, if it's on top of a pallet in somebody's backyard, do that. You just have to do it as frequently as possible. I'm glad that you guys have found, uh, found ways to make that happen. Yeah, totally. Yeah, no, and everybody here is super friendly and awesome, and everybody just wants to see each other grow, and that's really what's most important is just the community here and how everybody just is here for the music, you know? Yeah, this is your first time playing at Treefort, right? Our, it's our second year, actually. Oh, yeah, okay. Last year, um, so this will be our second year. I'm sure being Boy C natives, <laughs> 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 that was like the for at least the last time, uh, and this time it's like a big deal for you, Yeah. Oh yeah, I mean, whenever Tree Four comes around, it's always a huge deal over here, especially for local bands like us. You know, I get really mm -hmm. excited because it's like, you know, all these bands coming in to Boise and just live music everywhere throughout the whole week. It's great. I love Tree Four. I, I guess I can speak for these yeah, guys I mean, as well. Most most big bands that come through the West sort of go through Salt Lake and Portland, but don't always go through Boise. But Tree Four is the time when. The whole city comes alive and all the bands are coming and uh, everyone from out of town is, is in here and uh, prowling around downtown. Yeah. Yeah, yeah well, we're looking forward to, to diving into the festival itself. I mean, our viewers can see it happening literally right behind mm -hmm. you right now. Right. And uh, so this is my first tree for it. Very much looking forward to it. And we've kicked us kicked off very well with you guys. We appreciate your music very much. And there's still a lot more to be shared. What do you want to do second today? Um, this next one is a new one. Um, working title for it at the moment is called Curves, and it's kind of a kind of a groovy one if you yes. ask me. Yeah. Ooh, groovy. Okay. <laughs> Yeah. 
Thank you, guys. I think Groovy was Groovy was a good uh, descriptor there. Um, I want to hear more about your origin story. How how did y'all you you reference that um, you guys have worked on other projects? To, I want to hear a little bit more about your origin story, and then um, I'd love to know how you like how you connect with your fans here. Like, what's been the best way for you to connect and find your people? Yeah, um, totally. The band was started by me and our former member uh, Violet. Um, we met each other through work, and we decided to start a band together. And we invited these guys to play in our garage with us, and we wrote uh, the Flamingo EP together, mm -hmm. and we just started playing shows after that. And that's kind of how we started, I guess. So you're at work, and you're like, hey, want to start a band? Yeah, yeah, pretty much. <laughs> worked, at, worked at a pizza place, you know. That's, I feel like it's where a lot of bands can start. Yeah, started, and know? what's been like the, yeah, the, the way that y'all, since, since forming, you found like your right people? Where have you played shows? How have you reached out? How do you interact with people? Yeah, well, yeah. I think it, it's uh, currently through Instagram, uh, just sending DMs back and forth and posting information about shows and what bands are playing here and there. Um, I didn't even know my band members before they messaged me on Instagram and asked me if I wanted to play bass in the band. And I was like, sure, I'll come out and play bass with you guys. And uh, yeah, it ended up working out. So Instagram is a big one. Um, we read all the comments on YouTube and and uh, we reply to DMs on Twitter and Instagram, and so that's how, that's how we connect with our fans, I think. Um, yeah. Definitely through shows as well, like just playing house shows, lots mm -hmm. of house shows in the summertime and stuff, just inviting people out, you know, having a good you know, support system is a big one as well, you know? Just making friends, you know, I guess. Shows are huge, because yeah. like, yeah, Instagram is one thing, and seeing like performances on YouTube, but going to a show and seeing everyone face to face is is really something and that's what we strive for i think totally yeah i think that's for me that's the most important way to connect with fans is just by playing your music for them you know there's uh, nothing like live music yeah Agreed. nothing like like especially after like i don't know feeling like we desperately needed it over the last two years and now all of a sudden we get a you know it's just like take as much of it as possible in so i love totally. it yeah all right. Well, thank you guys. We're only halfway through right now. There's a lot more music to be shared with the audience. What do you feel like doing third today? Um, we're going to do another new one. This one is called The Island. And um, yeah, we're going to take it from here, I guess. <laughs>
<laughs> yeah, thank you guys. Um, has Have either of the last two songs that you've played been recorded yet, or are you going into the studio to record them, still refining them? Where are you guys at in the process right now? Right now, these songs are just kind of in our minds, you know? We don't really have them put out on recording or anything. Like, we plan on just writing a bunch of songs and taking them to the studio later. But as of now, those are just kind of works in progress that we have and are trying to share with everybody, you know? Nice. Well, thank you for doing it here. I think we've got a wonderful uh, recorded version of it right now. I yeah. always, always look forward to hearing the mix that Juan is sending out into the, into the ether, into the internet. We've got a, yeah. some good viewers right now, man. People are stoked. So thank you for making people happy on the internet. We of appreciate course. it. Oh, this is a pleasure. I'm glad people are enjoying whoever's out there. Thank people you. People are watching. We might be in a we might be in a room where you don't have a huge audience, but people are watching. So. Oh man, I'm so. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> So when you guys, when you do take the new music uh, to the studio, are you working at a Boise studio? Is it a home studio? What does the environment look like for you guys when you when you get together to to create in a studio environment? Well, our past EP we recorded it. Um, my cousin has this a bunch of recording gear, and when we recorded Flamingo EP, we recorded that in his attic, and we did all the mixing and mastering like ourselves. So most of what we do to record is, is pretty DIY, but this next batch of songs that we plan on recording, we'll probably take to like a nicer studio somewhere here in Boise. Um, we just don't really know yet. We haven't really arranged plans for recording, but we definitely plan on you know, taking it up a notch for this next uh, album as far as production goes. Nice, well, congrats. Yeah. <laughs> well, thank you for the verbal dance just then. <laughs> My bad, I need to sleep more. Um, we, um, congratulations to you guys, and that's exciting thank stuff. You. Yeah, um, congratulations on the the trajectory. It's got to got to feel good. Yeah, we're very excited. I'm I'm very excited to present these songs out to people. This is the first time they've ever been like recorded, so I'm excited to see how they sound. You guys seem yeah. so great. Yeah. <laughs> thank you so yeah. much. <laughs> nice. Well, I'm having fun here. So. Yeah. 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 Thanks again for, for your time and for your music, and there's still one more to be shared. What do you guys want to do last today? Um, this one will be off our EP. This one's called Fog. This is my personal favorite of ours. I can't speak for the others, but I really like this one. <laughs> Oh, 
Yes. Thank you Thank so you much. Thank you, fellas. Thank you. Well, this has been a total delight. Thank you for kicking off the week the right way. Um, the middle of the week. This is Wednesday today. That doesn't seem right, but I think it's true. And <laughs> Wednesday, happy Wednesday to you. Um, thank you to ConvertKit and to, oh, to Haley for doing a wonderful job co-hosting. This is the first time this has ever happened. This, so the, for, for like you ever having a co-host? Yeah. Oh, well, you know. Yeah. In 2,700 <laughs> times. This is, this is the first one this of This is the first one. Oh, yeah, my gosh. I'm well, I feel honored. Much. I feel honored. Yeah. Man, thank you guys. Again, have a wonderful Tree Fort. When is your Tree Fort uh, uh, set? Um, it is today, 6 p.m. at the Linen Building. 6? 6, 620. 6.20. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes. The Linen Building is a vibe, too. Yeah, it's a cool I, space. I love the Linen Building. Yeah. Um, yeah. We're also playing Saturday at 5 p.m. at the Sanctuary. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. Cool. All right. If you're here, catch us at Tree Fort. <laughs> yeah, have wonderful shows and future shows. Travel safely, please, between all of those shows, and uh, we'll reconnect in a year or whatever. We'll just keep doing this for our entire careers, man. We'll yeah. see you yeah. a lot. Where should where should people find you? Where's the best way to best place for people to find you? Well, our Instagram always open for followers. Uh, <laughs> at Vem the Band, uh, check us out. We also have a Twitter. Yep, it's Vem the Band on Twitter. Okay, uh, we have a YouTube account. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, pretty much the main social media platforms. You can also find us on Spotify, Apple Music, all the streaming stuff. Just Vem, V, E, M, <laughs> M. Yeah. Well done. It is crystal clear now. Thank you yeah. so much, man. Have a great show today, and um, and we'll we'll see you next time. Thank you so much. Thanks. Thank you guys. All right. It's been an honor. We have done it. Okay.